This is 2OF Entertainment. Hi, it's Kevin Lobates here, and today I thought I would talk about tokenomics. And tokenomics is a portmanteau, which means it's a word made up of two words that are combined together. And in this case, it's the combination of the word token and the word economics. And if you look up a formal definition, you'll find that tokenomics is the study of supply and demand within an economic system using cryptocurrency or crypto tokens. However, Although that's a great description of what somebody in an academic environment might be doing when they say, I am studying tokenomics or I am researching tokenomics, in the business world, it's a bit different. Because the reason why a project such as an ICO or an NFT project would hire a tokenomicist, and I believe that's a word, um, the reason they would hire one is because they need to know what numbers they are supposed to use for their project. How many tokens should they issue? How many NFTs should they mint? How much should they charge for them? Uh, what should initial investors have to pay versus people who come in later and so on and so forth? And so that's as much a marketing and a sales and a business development issue as it is a, an economics issue. And as a result, you can guess that the discipline in business is not particularly scientific. In fact, the evidence that I've seen is that most tokenomicists just go and look at other projects that have been successful and copy what they've done. And that is why we see ICOs with 21 million tokens released, because that's the number that Satoshi Nakamoto picked for Bitcoin. That's also why we see 10,000 limited edition NFTs being issued in a new NFT project, because that's the number that the CryptoPunks and then the Bored Apes picked. So it really is a case of monkey see, monkey do in the cryptocurrency and NFT world. Um, anyway, a short post on tokenomics and why it's not as scientific as it may first sound. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you've also enjoyed watching me getting snowed on and I'll see you all in the next video soon. Bye for now.